Hello there, sweet friends, and welcome back to another video. So today, obviously, I'm in my bathroom, and I'm getting ready this morning. I have a few errands to run. I get my nails done. I take my mom. She has a doctor appointment this afternoon, and it's Friday, so we're going to do something fun tonight. I'm not sure with friends or maybe just my hubby and I on a date night. So I thought I would chat with you while I put just a little bit of my skincare on. We're going to talk more about that on this video because I know you guys like to see I know a lot of people have asked questions and I want to let you know what I'm using these days so I don't put much on in the morning um, I'm more of a nighttime lots of different serums and um, I'm gonna have my friend Melissa maybe one of these days have her jump on somehow some way Melissa 55 on YouTube she is fantastic, but there's something I learned from her a long time ago and was like, she does not use moisturizer. And I have to agree with her. It makes my face feel saggy. So I have serums. I love serums. And this one is the Clarins Double Serum. Love this serum. Love it. And this is the one I really like to put on in the morning because I feel like it just helps give my face that kind of glowy look. And then I'll put a little, a little bit, very, very little bit of eye cream on and let me grab it. Okay, this one here is bright and tight and, oh my gosh, what is it? INN IN -N Beauty Project. And my friend, Kalonda Casey, if you guys don't follow her, make sure you do. She does the best, when I tell you, best makeup looks for women over 50. I mean, when I tell you, she just does such a fabulous job and she is also a uh, sephora um ambassador so she knows her stuff and she was showing this on one of her reels or TikTok, and i loved it so i ordered it so this is all i put on my face besides a little bit of lip balm before i put my makeup on so let's go get made up and get ready for the day Alrighty friends, I am back from getting my nails done. I got this real pretty kind of a coral color with some sparkles on it. But the biggest joy of getting my nails done is I was just finishing up and who comes walking in is Lauren. So Lauren came in and we gave each other a hug. I have not seen Lauren in a couple of weeks because Mark and I were on two vacations. Um, so I was really hoping we can get together this weekend with our hubbies and all that, but I know they've got a lot of family vacations so not vacations we only birthdays the next couple of weeks it's like one of those kind of months you know you got all these bar parties and stuff like that so we will get caught up i told her that everyone's been asking about her so um i will get her on a video it's just so we haven't seen each other i haven't really seen a lot of our friends lately because like i said mark and i have been out of town and jody's getting ready for her daughter's emily's wedding so they're busy and kim's going to be traveling out of town so just crazy crazy busy but that's why when we do have a chance to get together we just want to i just really don't want to i just want to embrace and enjoy the time without cameras because i feel like for 10 years it's all Lauren and i ever did when we were out with friends is have a camera one of us did so i'm just really trying to, to embrace the moments with our friends but i do promise you i will get her on a video um oh the mailman's coming by so archie might start barking so we'll see but anyway, let me tell you also what's going to go on the rest of this vlog. I got two DIYs that I want to share with you um, for the patio or front porch, whatever works for you. They are so simple and easy. I was just waiting for the last thing to come and it actually was on my front porch when I got home. So yay for that. I do have to go to the nursery to pick up some something and also I have to go to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby to get some paint. And uh, I do want to share with you I got seriously the most beautiful new beauty like makeup you guys are going to love and I know more is coming today so I'm going to share that with all of you and again more of my updated skincare because I know you guys have been asking and it is a new season we do have to change out our makeup during the seasons so we're going to do that and whatever else comes along so I'm going to go ahead hurry up and take Archie out we're going to go I'm going to go ahead and pick up my mom to take her to her doctor appointment she has a checkup and then come home and then we'll see what happens, you know, whatever the plans are for tonight and whatever else comes along for the weekend. 
So I'm out here at Lowe's and I'm trying to find some flowers for a DIY that we're going to be doing today. Mark and I have loaded up on some mulch and some ferns. Um, what else? Potting soil and terracotta pots and stuff like that. So let's see what we can find to put in for the DIY today. So we grabbed some trees that we're going to add. Um, I got my ferns over here. And pots. Okay, and I think we're gonna do pansies. I think it's gonna be really pretty. The day is selling out. <laughs> I didn't think there would be this many people. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh, those are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The tulips I got from our local nursery. Well, I've got you here in my car because it's quite windy outside. So Mark and I are doing, of course, a lot of stuff uh, for the back patio area. We went and bought some slate. So it's pretty cool what you do is you drive your car up to the scale and they weigh your car first and then you load the slate into it and you pull your car back up and then they weigh it so we got some slate so we're gonna i don't know how we're gonna get this to the backyard but uh we're gonna get it there and get it all set up so it's oh my gosh i'm so excited about all the things we got i can't wait to see it all put together again this is gonna be it's gonna take some time um we've got so much more we want to do but like I said uh, before, little baby steps in my newsletter. Uh, so I'll show you, you know, the process as we start putting stuff together today. Okay, after laying a lot of dirt and playing around here with the slate, I think we found a pattern that we like. And uh, I think it's gonna be really pretty. So now we gotta dig and get these trees in over here. But for now, so we're getting there. is finishing up in the yard i'm going to share with you this adorable diy so all you need is two pots a larger pot and a little smaller uh, planter and i will link these for you a solar fountain and some potting soil and some flowers and this is so simple and easy and i just can't wait to share with you here shortly how adorable it is and how this turned out Look at how cute this turned out. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. This was so simple and easy to do. 
and you can change out each feature so you can have uh, the water coming out looking at different ways like different um, either straight up or coming a little bit further down uh, multiple choices uh, but what a quick and adorable DIY okay so this portion of our patio is complete so as you can see Mark and I decided to put I think you call it pea stone I think it looks so much nicer um, so we put some mulch which actually Mark read brown bags and we actually have dark mulch but our um, HOA is gonna come and they'll be putting some new dark stuff on top but I'm not worried about that and they're gonna finish off all this but in the meantime I love the slate I love with the little stones there I think it looks perfect uh, I cannot wait to get um, obviously our soil in here and start planting i know we've got um two more days we're going to have frost and after that that should be it we have frost warnings but that should be it we planted the two trees and so this you know we have to bring up the couches yet and still do something with these trees so down here if you guys remember i had um this from Aventuvin um, a couple years ago. So we're gonna use this as just a bunch of fun flowers. So we moved it down here and then again, wait till you see what I've got in store down here. It's gonna be so pretty. So again, a little baby steps, but it's all coming together. We're gonna have um, this couple more days of just chillier weather and then it's gonna start to be warmer again. We can bring out the TV, the couches and really start um, putting our lights up and uh getting all of our flowers i cannot wait cannot wait but i'm very happy on how my little garden area turned out um now i just can't wait to get all of my um plants in here and uh, see see how it all turns out as the rest of the spring and summer season uh rolls along and uh but yeah could not be more excited it really ended up being such a lovely day today Good morning, my sweet friends. Well, I feel like since we've been on vacation so much the last two months that I've neglected organizing my room again. I feel like it's just a mess. So um, we're going to organize my fragrances. I like to move my kind of fall winter scents now towards the back, bring up my spring and summer scents. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. Um, like I do on Sundays, I change out all the bedding and i'm just going to organize my makeup and all that stuff and then once i shower today i want to share with you some of my new beauty stuff and a couple more of my skincare things like i mentioned um oh my gosh i'm just loving love love loving my new beauty oh my goodness okay so let's go and get this perfume organized because it is driving me crazy <laughs> I'm going to share with you some of the new beauty favorites that I am loving. I've been wanting this one eyeshadow palette for quite a while because uh, Sephora had their sale. I thought, well, this is the perfect opportunity to get it. So this is the Patrick Ta. This is the matte eyeshadow palette. And I love the brown shades, which is why I love this so much. So hopefully you guys can see with the lighting uh, just at how beautiful these are. And there's also some um here on this side it's nice because it has a cover um so you can use these as eyeliners which is great 
They are so soft. They blend beautifully into the skin. And honestly, I've been using mainly just like these four colors here and then one of these for under the eye. Just absolutely, oh, can you see? My stomach is worn, I'm so hungry. But these are so beautiful. Listen to my stomach. Okay, so this palette I've been just using nonstop. So the next thing I wanna share with you is blushes. I am the biggest fan of Rare Beauty blushes. Let me show you the ones that I do have and the new ones that I just got. So I love these blushes from Rare Beauty. I've talked about these before. She came out with these newer ones and oh my gosh, friends. They are beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna put both of them on. So I've got the shades and I'm trying to remember which is which here. This one is Love. Look it up, it's like a terracotta, gorgeous. And then this one is called Happy. I mean, it's just stunning. So we're gonna put them both on. So what I like to do, depending, if I want just a little bit of a light, I'll go with the lighter one, uh, or I'll do uh, just the terracotta one, I think it's love, or I'll combine them both. And today we're gonna combine them both. Actually, why don't I do it this way? Okay, I'm gonna use my mirror here. So I just use a brush here, just really light taps, like very, very light. You're gonna see how beautiful this goes on and it makes your skin so luminous looking. So, wow, okay, and that was just a tight, a light, oh my gosh, my stomach. <laughs> what time is it? It's almost noon and I've not eaten yet, so. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit on this side. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Can you see? I hope you can. Okay, now we're gonna add uh, a little bit of, which one is this? Happy on top, just to, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It brings me joy. Do they have one called joy, I wonder? <laughs> Love and happy. <laughs> So here are these two beautiful, hopefully you guys can see blushes. Oh my goodness. Okay, please don't look at all this mess. I have not gotten to my vanity yet. Two lippies that I bought. Uh, this one is by Chanel. It's called Gabrielle. And actually it's their number one selling lip, lipstick shade. And it is the most beautiful shade of red. But what I've been doing lately, and I wore it, I'll let you know what days I wore it on this video. But I use, but I will use a brush and just dab it a little bit on. But you can make it more intense if you just put it on the normal way. And I'd like to dab it on for just a little bit of color. It's so elegant and beautiful. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Hopefully you can see here. So Gabrielle. And then... I'm the biggest fan, you guys know, of YSL lippies. And the two colors I took with me to Italy last year, I wore almost the entire trip and they stay on so beautifully. So I can't believe it took me this long to add another shade. I think this is shade 444 or 44. I'll link everything like I said for you. We're gonna put this one on today. Oh my goodness, my stomach. This is crazy. My goodness. But this is such a gorgeous, here, let me just put it on. Such a beautiful shade. I put this on the other day and I just had a made, I had sent our, my friends a funny picture of me. But of course, you know what they said was, what lipstick are you wearing? That is so pretty. And so anyway, this is it. Hopefully you can see the blush and the lipstick. Uh, so this is ridiculous. I need to go eat. Okay, we're going to spray some spray on my face, keep everything nice. I'm going to go finish with my hair, get my clothes on, then we're going to talk about real quick skincare. I'm going to quickly go over my newest skincare because I do want to share with you a few things uh, yet about the channel. So, okay, first of all, I do absolutely love this First Aid Beauty Retinol. Now, I got the lowest amount which is 0.3%. I use this probably two or three times a week in the evening. 
I share the bright and tight that I use with you in the mornings. Also with this Clarins, I love the double serum. I'll rotate this with the morning and also at night. This brand new product here by City Beauty and it's the Concentrated Youth Serum. You guys, I feel like City Beauty always knocks it out of the park with their products. This one is, you know, you can put this one actually on day or night and I do rotate this with day and night, which you can do both, but it helps reduce wrinkles, enhance the look, um, skin firmness, and I love the enzyme technology, and uh, I'm telling you, this thing is really fantastic. I've been using it, wow, geez, for quite a while because they sent this to me prior to it releasing. Love this. If you guys wanted to try something, you, I, I highly suggest, and I think I might even have a code for you, so um, I will put that in the description section. Now, if you guys follow social media a lot, this has been uh, a big, big hot hit. The Advance Snail, yes, Snail 96. And I love this stuff, and it actually has helped diminish my brown spots on my face. And I use this nightly as well. And now I also love this eye cream. You can see that better. I use this eye cream at night. And again, this is another very um, popular, um, fabulous eye cream. So I love this at night. And then as far as washing my face, I am a, I think I'm like a Clarence girl because I absolutely love, love, love this gentle face washing. It's hydrating, it smells fabulous. And to me, it's just the perfect way to wash off my makeup at the end of every day. And last but certainly not least, this Elmas, I love the cleansing balm. Now this is the Naked. Um, I got this, I think, in a kit. I really love the other ones, the rose scented. Uh, I love all those other ones because I do love a nice scent, but I just happen to have this one left, which means I need to order more. Love the Elmas brand as well. This is wonderful for getting all your makeup off. So I use this first, and then I go ahead and wash my face with the Clarins. And then my eye creams, and then my I rotate my serums. Okay, friends, so it's time for a little heart-to-heart -heart talk here. Um, and I really need your feedback. Uh, this has been difficult with trying to do two videos a week for me. Um, it's a lot of work, I'll be honest with you. So I've been thinking about, and I want to throw this out there, and I'm really hoping you all give me your honest feedback. So I'm considering doing one video a week, but a much longer video. There's a lot of YouTubers that I myself love watching, and there are some of their videos are an hour long, but I don't mind that because I'll watch 10 or 15 minutes here and there, come back and watch more, and it's almost like to me when I watch, I feel like I'm watching a TV series in Hawaii, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to catch a little bit here, and then I'll go back on, because I'm like, oh my gosh, I she talked about this, this, and that, and I can't wait to watch that, and I'll jump back on when I have more time and watch more, and then sometimes... Two days later, I'll finish watching it. So uh, let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. So basically, I would just sort of film throughout the week little bits and pieces, what I feel it's exciting enough that you guys would want to see. Um, but no, one thing too, I don't, you, you guys see a little snippet of my life. I There's so many other things and things that we do, like, you know, this weekend we went out with Gary and Jody on Friday. Last night we went out with Mike and Kim. Um, I just want to really take in those moments with my friends and when we visit our grandbabies and our, our children, which we do all the time, I don't film those um, because I just want to be present for my family um, and I hope you understand that. But when I'm doing my daily thing here, I don't mind sharing those things with all of you and actually I really enjoy that because in, in, I don't know, I just do things that I feel I would like to watch of another influencer. Sorry, Mark walked in real quick. He didn't know I was filming. Um, but anyway, so um, running, I'm running, I'm just thinking about doing that. I, I just know I, um, you know, I just love sharing fun things with all of you. And uh, it's just, I, you know, I hope you're enjoying them. Um, you know, it's, it's when you put so much time and effort into it and I feel like View-wise, like the videos aren't just getting what they used to. Even back when it was Lauren and I, I just feel like that just it's just going down and down and down. And it's so much work. I'm thinking if any people aren't interested, why am I even doing this? So, but I really do love doing these videos for all of you. And 
sharing things that I know motivate me and inspire me and, and I'm really hoping and praying it does for all of you. If you're not, and I every once in a while I get a comment where you guys say, you know, I don't really comment often. Comment. I, I really want my comment section to always be filled with just something. Because when you see, <coughs> excuse me, unless I ask a question, you see like a couple little comments here and there, it just looks like my channel's dead. It's like almost defeating in a way. I hope you guys understand that. Um, comment. I mean, just say a, a, an emoji or something so I know you're there kind of a thing. Um, it would mean so much to me because, uh, like I said, this is my passion and I love I love sharing all these things with you. I love that I'm starting new things and sharing those new things and letting you all know out there that there is just... Um, you know, we're never too old, too young, whatever, to start something new. And I really want to be that inspiration for all of you. But it gets to the point where I feel like if I'm just talking to myself with this camera, it's just sort of, you know, is it worth me doing anymore? So I, I need you all to please, if you subscribe to this channel, I would love for you if I do like one video a week and it's a much longer, maybe like I said, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, it could be an hour, whatever that you will take the time to continually watch it throughout the week, whatever works in your schedule, or if you wanna binge watch it all in one day, whatever works for you. But I just, I do wanna keep doing this, but it's really hard for me to keep up doing this with I'm not seeing what I was hoping to see as far as um, people watching, kind of a thing, commenting, that kind of a thing. Um, and I know some people watch me on their TV, which I do a lot, but I do make sure that when I do do that, I let the people know that I'm there. And I, and I just would love if you guys would do that. Even if you just go onto the app or onto your laptop and just drop an emoji in the comment section or something like that. I would love that. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you really like these kind of videos, first of all, where I just share my life and then include gardening, going, you know, picking out stuff for my home and, you know, going to my local faux doors for my flowers and things like that. Let me know. And, um, and what else do you like to see? Like I threw in my skincare because I know you guys have been asking this new beauty, which I am loving and why not share with all of you? You're my friends. Uh, so that kind of thing. And of course I do my decorating when I'm decorating right now. I'm really not decorating anything, but I will be all out on the patio and getting all that ready as you guys have already seen, um, getting started for the new season. So, um, so let me know your thoughts. If I do one, go down to one video a week and make it a big, long video, uh, promising you'll watch. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. It's so easy to subscribe to the channel. It's all you need is a Gmail account. If you don't have one, you can just make one real quick via Gmail, Google. That way um, you can get my videos in your inbox every week. And uh, it's just, it's so simple. Follow me on my newsletter. I'm really enjoying the newsletter. I feel like you guys are getting a little more of a personal touch with me with the newsletter. Then I share some of my favorites and different things like that in there. So make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter. And of course, I say like the like to know on Amazon because I'm always, as I buy stuff for myself and my family, I'm adding to my storefront for all of you. So I'm actually basically giving you an insight of what I'm doing, what I'm buying kind of a thing. So um, tried and true things that I'm loving kind of a thing. So anyway, all right, friends, I love you all so much. And I wanna keep doing this, but I only wanna keep doing this if you guys want me to. And um, trust me, I, I could find so many things to be doing with my time, and but I'm, I'm choosing to share my life with you. And um, I hope that you all feel the same way. So, love you, and I'll see you on Thursday. I wanna read all your comments, and then we'll make a decision from there what we're gonna do. So, you guys have a wonderful day. Today is Sunday. I gotta get this finished and edited out to you guys here in literally, what time is it? It's five hours. So, love you, bye. <laughs>